Oh, it's so cold today. I want to go outside and I want to play in the snow. Even I want to play. With these warm clothes, I feel we have adapted ourselves for the weather outside. Adapted? What do you mean by adapted? Oh, adapted means that we have changed ourselves for a new condition. It is cold outside, so we are wearing jackets and caps. So now we have adjusted ourselves to the cold conditions. But look at this penguin. It is not wearing any jacket. How does it adapt in such a cold weather on the ice glaciers? <laughs> a genius question. Penguins do not need to wear jackets. Ice glaciers are their natural home. Animal bodies are adapted to their natural homes. The natural homes of animals are called habitats. Habitat? Can you tell me more about habitats? Look at these animals. Tell me their natural homes. Oh, it is a fish. Its natural home is water. Yeah, water is a habitat for fish. What about a camel? Where does he live? A camel lives in dry and sandy place. So, desert is his habitat. Mm, good. And tell me, what about giraffe, penguin and monkeys? A giraffe lives in a forest. Penguin lives near the poles and monkeys live on trees. You are right. Let me tell you the names of these habitats. A fish's habitat is called aquatic. Camel's natural home is the desert. Poles are a habitat for penguins. Animals like giraffe live on the land. They are called terrestrial animals and arboreal is the name of the habitat for animals who live on trees. Now I know why penguins do not need jackets or caps. Ice is a penguin's natural home and it does not feel cold. Yes, they have features in their bodies that make them survive in cold climates. The features in the animals that help them to survive in their respective habitats is called adaptation. Can you tell me about features of animals who live in deserts? <laughs> I mean adaptation. Yes, as you know, camels live in hot desert where sand blows everywhere. Camels have double rows of extra long lashes and thick eyebrows to keep the sand out of their eyes. And as you know, there is very less vegetation and water in the desert. So camels have to walk for many days without food and water. They have big humps. These humps store a lot of fat. This fat can be converted as a source of energy when food and water is not available for days. Even their feet look different. Yes, you are right. Camels have special type of feet. These feet help them to walk in sand easily and also they protect them from the heat of the sand. Hey, you're acting like a monkey. Yes, I love monkeys. Can you tell me about some adaptations in monkeys? Yes, do you know that most of the times monkeys live on trees? Their habitat is known as arboreal. Let's look closely at this monkey hanging from the tree. Monkeys use their tails to hang and to hold food. And look at their arms and legs. They are very long. These help the monkeys to swing on the trees easily. They also can make different kinds of sounds to call, warn and greet their group members. I have one question about aquatic animals. I saw my teacher's pictures. He went into the sea for scuba diving. But he was carrying a cylinder of oxygen for breathing. I have never seen a fish carrying any oxygen cylinder. <laughs> Yes, you're right. Fish and other aquatic animals don't carry oxygen cylinders with them in the sea for breathing. Their body has different adaptations for taking oxygen from the water. Fish have gills on both sides of their body. Sea water goes in from their mouth and it passes through their gills. These gills absorb oxygen from water and carbon dioxide from the body is released which comes out of the gills from the other side. Wow! 
we learned adaptations in aquatic, arboreals, and desert animals. Can you tell me some features about polar animals? Penguins live near the Antarctic region. It is extremely cold here, and the water temperature never rises above freezing point. Penguins have to keep high body temperature to remain active. The dark colored feathers on their backs absorb heat from the sun which helps keep them warm. They also have thick skin and lots of fat called blubber under their skin. Penguins have webbed feet for powerful swimming. Their wings are shaped like flippers which help them to swim at speeds up to 15 meters per hour. Wow, animals are so lucky. They have so many features in their body which helps them to survive in their habitats and they don't need to wear jackets. <laughs> yeah, really? Tell me what extra feature do you want in your body? Oh, I wanted to have wings like birds so that I could fly to school every day. <laughs>